Here at Begara, we had a problem. Not really a problem, but more of a demand from our customers. They wanted the same accuracy Begara is known for, but they wanted to get rid of some of the weight. I've been working on that problem for three years. Before I came to Begara, I served for 22 years in the Marine Corps. My job day in and day out was to build the most precise, lethal rifles Marines could get their hands on. I took all the knowledge and skill sets that I learned in the Marine Corps and brought it to Begara. When we wanted to start exploring carbon fiber technologies, we reached out to the industry's best, Todd Barreto. So when Dan first contacted me regarding this, this engineering problem they were having with uh, a barrel design, uh, I was very intrigued because of the, the challenge of building a composite barrel to withstand the heat generated from the firing event uh, has been the Achilles heel of composite barrels for years. The problem with other carbon barrels, they don't actually manage the heat, they contain it. Once they heat up, your shots start to migrate. With Begara's accuracy standards, we couldn't have that. When we set out to make a carbon fiber barrel, we didn't just want to be a Me Too company. We wanted to do it different. So managing the heat was the primary focus of my initial design work. What makes this product unique are two main factors. One is the use of a stainless steel mesh within the structure, and the other is the fabrication techniques used to maintain straightness, and the processing that we use to manufacture this barrel is novel and new. Our process is very different than other carbon barrel manufacturers. We use a process that's labor intensive, but guarantees perfect axial fiber alignment in the bore direction. So what that means to you as a shooter is that you're not gonna have that bullet migration. It's gonna increase your accuracy with those follow-up shots. With respect to the materials that are in this barrel design, we intentionally chose a ultra high modulus carbon fiber, which is basically a stiffer carbon fiber. And with respect to the stainless steel, it's very thin. It's down to about two and a half mils in thickness and was engineered and designed specifically for this barrel. You know, we didn't take any shortcuts with materials. We could have gone with cheaper carbon fibers, uh, a different type of mesh, but we didn't want to. We wanted to use the best materials that are available today. Literally the same materials that's used by the aerospace industry. For me, I'm a hunter. I'm an end user of the product ultimately. And when I design rifles, I'm essentially designing it for myself. This is the rifle that I want to hunt with. You know, typically lightweight barrels are not known for accuracy. However, our technology was able to overcome that. We give you the accuracy of a heavyweight barrel and a lightweight platform. For me personally, this carbon barrel design with Bergara is probably the peak of my career. It's uh, very exciting, it was a very challenging design, and it's just the beginning. What I do think about, or what I have thought about in the past, is that we're using a carbon fiber technology that no one else is using. This carbon barrel technology that we developed is disruptive to the firearms industry and the carbon barrel industry. 